and three, two, one, boom, and we're back to another episode of Socratic Gamers. This episode brought to you by Zenreal Clothing Co. Hit up zenrealclothingco.com and use code SGPODCAST for 20% off select items. Anyways, so we are back. Um, Socratic Gamers Dialogue, Socratic Dialogue. Uh, this time we're talking about uh, big data, good or bad. But before we get into that, uh, you might notice that we're playing Death Stranding. So Vish said that he would give us a um, update on how the game is and like, is it worth it? So uh, you were telling me yesterday about how he's actually a delivery person. Yeah. Yeah, that's a mind blow. Like I didn't expect the game to be like that. And I've seen like so many memes about like Death Stranding in real life. Uh -huh. you, you know, yeah, and it's, yeah, yeah. It, it's like a person that, like like a bunch of like uh it's like some person from asia and he's got like all this stuff like strapped to his back you know <laughs> oh, and, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. right like so if you're if you're watching this on youtube you'll see like that there's a guy on a motorbike right now and he's got like a bunch of packs on his back and i guess he's like he's an uber driver like what, what is this <laughs> uh uber driver no like you can say more like an amazon delivery guy oh really okay okay so so what's the premise of the game now uh well you're still connecting um the world right or connecting america i don't think you got into that last time i didn't okay no 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 you're just like i played an hour and i just watched the beginning well i think i did mention that because that was in in the the very beginning okay so we'll, we'll recap so basically first. what is this what is the game about uh your end goal is to connect all of america again okay but that's such an arbitrary goal like how how is he what's it like that's that's the end goal sure but what's the strategies and tactics that'll bring him towards connectivity strategies and tactics like what what's he what's the objective of the game aside from like um um like of course we know that he's trying to bring america together again but mm -hmm. like how does he go about doing that oh uh, deliveries <laughs> okay really yeah like from the main What's place. That? All right, so, so I from the main hear... place, capital not city, I believe it is. Okay, you're... capital not city. Yeah, not K -K city. K N O T. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. What's his name? He's just uh, he's just weird that way. Kojima. He plays around with words a lot. Okay. Like he calls these, the things that we like on our stomachs, like uh -huh. babies. We they call them BBs, <laughs> like B and the letter two Bs. Okay weird yeah <laughs> he's a weird guy i i wonder if it's like a giant troll like from kojima because if you think Actually, about it it's like so what happened just like an hour ago i was i was uh, playing more of this and then like are you tired yet or like it was like oh, it happened to you too yeah he just did that like no there's okay. a character that came up uh -huh. and he's like oh are you, you getting bored or like that's like, an old doing school this thing? yeah yeah that's yeah, an old yeah, school yeah, trick yeah. he just I said did that Metal Gear Solid. yeah and I, and I noticed that when you said that and now then like when he said it it was troy baker's character that did that boom pulling the same trick yeah interesting <laughs> okay so what's with the the sound effects of like is it a baby crying or something like i always hear this from your headphones like there is a baby yes <laughs> i hear these like whines and i'm like what the hell is that uh it could be the sound effect itself not necessarily the baby all the time i don't okay. think you hear that it's loud random. enough yeah um so yeah you're connect so basically from the not city like that's the main place you're trying to connect everything and try to save the the person that's the next president or whoever it is okay you know what i'm getting from this game i'm I'm feeling like the game is a giant aside from just a giant troll because that's what i do believe the game is um i kind of feel like it's it's like it, it's an art piece yes you know what i mean exactly it, that. It, it's not really a, it is a game but it's more of an art piece and i think that's why you enjoy it yeah. whereas like you were saying like other people won't and i'm like yeah i don't know if i would play this game no that's what i said i think that's what i was trying to say last time that this is really not for a lot of people because this is so random and it's like very it's oh. very specific to his style like when i see this i'm like okay yeah it's a kojima thing like yeah. you you know like like even in the first metal gears like there was a lot of weird stuff in the game like you're playing as a spy and whatever but there's like a lot of like subtle trolls mm -hmm. you know like o otaku um otakon the character um he his name they're like what should i call you like um solid snake was like what should i call you and he's like you can call me otakon it's short for otaku convention mm -hmm. 
Otacon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And it's, like, it's for, like, losers who play, like, <laughs> video games and, like, anime. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So it's like, it's, like, these subtle trolls within the game, and you're, like, are you, like, ripping on me right now? Or what's going on? You know? Right. Yeah. So that's where you are. Um, yeah, so there's, like... Uh... I think there's about 14 uh like episodes or whatever mm -hmm. like chapters i guess okay uh yeah i'm just in chapter th i'm still in chapter two i think and i don't think it should change to chapter three yet okay cool and i've already played about you can say 10 hours wow okay that's great it's a 50 hour game you said yeah could that's potentially nuts. be yeah. this, is, this is very odd but cool so would so you, and then uh -huh. it's it's also like connected so once you make the connection, whenever you go to a new place, once you connect it to Knot City, uh -huh. once they're all connected, then you see the um, everything that other people have left in the map. This, what do you mean? It's like an online game? Yeah. So there's partially of this is online. So what? I could build bridges, like actual bridges. So like over a lake or something. Uh huh. Other people can add to it or upgrade the bridge after they have made the connection to these different cities wow so that's why i started to like it more because like once you've made the first connection then it's easier to go back to the other ones and stuff Be especially now that i've got a bike uh -huh. it's making things so before you saw me only walking yeah so that was the point of that and then he he teased you with the bike it was there at one of the places okay but then you couldn't drive it why not it said that there's uh, no key uh no battery or whatever right so it teased you with that. Then you have to do a couple more deliveries. Then you get to learn like how to make a generator. Then that generator you use to charge up that bike and start using it. Wow. Okay. Sometimes I wonder if like, like from this perspective, I wonder if like he's like, look what I can make them do. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like let, let me make them do some ridiculousness in the game. You know? No, I think his mind is just like that because I was hearing some interviews where it's like he would... When they were filming for some of these things, he would just like bring up ideas on the spot, like random things. Were like, oh, we could do this. We should add this. We should add this. I think he's just he's like that kind of hmm. that kind of person. That... Interesting. It's like a Tarantino. Yeah. Kojima's like a Tarantino, but yeah. for video games. Yeah. Although Kojima is apparently going to make movies, so yeah, potentially. Yeah. All right. Cool. Is your update? I guess so. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm really liking it right now. So. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I don't know okay, why. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um yeah so okay back to big data so all right so what is big data big data is all of the data in, in sim simply put it's like all of the data collected on you mm -hmm. and other people in aggregate to make future decisions would, would you would you put it like that uh yeah so it's yeah. just like it's like all of your like, so whenever you search something online, you create, like, a trail, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's what they call cookies, right? Yeah. Or, like, and you have, like, meta meta descriptions. Oh, not meta descriptions. Like, like, like little bits of information of what you've been doing online, mm -hmm. right? And so what essentially they do is they collect that data and they, and they say that they don't know who you are, but but there's also other versions of collecting data right. where like they know who you are um but that's why and and then and then they present information to you using these aggregate data sources mm -hmm. right so like that's why if you google something it, it'll show you like the peak times of like when a store is busy and not busy yeah yeah have you seen have you tried that yeah, yeah, with yeah, google yeah, yeah. um and then also so then there's other things where it's like it'll follow you with ads Mm -hmm. So wherever you go, given your cookies, if you don't use like a protected browser, you'll see ads that are targeted to what you just searched. Yeah. Okay. Um, what else? And and then there's then there's the Edward Snowden thing, which is like surveillance. Yeah. Right. So like you can collect this data and then you can make judgment calls to people. So like uh, I think it was was it terms and conditions may apply, and then they showed like this person like searched a bunch of things and then he got like the FBI came to his house. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it I was that know. dog. Okay. Um, but yeah, so there, there's there's so many like documentaries. Like the big hack is another one where it's like um, they used oh so like political stuff. Like they used your information to tailor things towards you to make you 
sway in a certain direction yeah okay so and another uh, movie is um brexit Mm -hmm. it's a great one uh cambridge analytica yeah is the canadian company that like pioneered uh utilizing big data to to like influence influence you yeah okay so but even then like even they said it in there like it may have done in we don't know how much of an influence it may have been. But at the end, it's it's the person's decision anyways. Is that yeah, what you're going to get at? No, because okay. it's like, it, it only like, was it a couple thousand votes or something like that? And oh, really? Yeah. Difference. So it's like, like maybe they did have an impact, but maybe, I don't know, if the, was it the 2,000 people that they actually influenced or did but, they? But that's sort of like marketing. So marketing yeah. in general, what, what people say is like, when I was when I was studying it, one of the things they said is it's one of the hardest fields, mm-hmm. not because of... Um, not because of like the difficulty of like creating things, although that is like relatively difficult. What's difficult is you can't track your progress. You can't track Mm -hmm. your success. Like you can, but it's like, you'll never be able to be like, this led to this. Like let's say you're a manager and you're like, okay, your budget is this amount of money Mm -hmm. this year. And then like at the end of the year, you save money. So it's like, it's a very evident, you know, it's like, but like with with marketing, so many things come into play. So it's like, you Mm -hmm. don't really know if something worked because of it right or not yeah right yeah so like their defense is like okay it was only a couple thousand right but it's like yeah but did you i don't think it was their defense no they didn't didn't say that so so the the line is like did it really affect anything yeah right but it's like you don't know the ramifications of those things so like even them being influenced and then they're like oh hey so like okay so i see an ad and then i go to you and i'm like hey man did you see that trump did this thing and then you go and you you sway your vote. I don't sway my vote, but you don't know how, like, the word of mouth influence. Yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, track yeah. certain things, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay, so there's that. Okay, so is it a good or a bad thing? Um, what's your opinion? What, what do you think? I, well, all right, well, before, before that, um, I would like to say that I think it boils down to, are you talking about marketing big data or are you talking about surveillance of big data? Uh, surveillance, I would say more. No, no, no. I'm saying it branches into two streams because, like, sure, you have the big data, but it's like, yeah. what do you do with the data? So it's either you can use it for surveillance purposes or you can use it for marketing purposes, mm-hmm. right? Um, and right, I think, so, I think, I think in marketing wise, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. I agree. Yeah. So for me, I think so. I think it's like a double-edged sword. It's like when you say big data, it's like what are you going to use with the big data? You know, it, it's like when people say like drugs are bad. It's like drugs aren't bad. The person that's using the drugs and making their decisions through that filter, right? That's good or bad. Yeah. I mean, technically, you'd say there's no good or bad, but for sake of argument, we're going to say that there are black and white here, good and bad. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. So, so is it good? or bad big data so that's why i broke broke it down into like surveillance and marketing because it's like i agree with you like from a marketing perspective i think it's awesome but from a surveillance perspective not so much yeah because it's like because then you can you so from a marketing perspective i think it's i think it breaks down to like who holds the power so for marketing it's like yeah i can influence you all you want but if you're not going to buy the product you're not going to buy the product right but from a surveillance perspective, we get into totalitarian governments now because it's like, okay, the government's going to use this data to break into your house and be like, hey, we noticed that you were Googling this thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, that's why I think from that perspective, it's bad. Right. Right? Yeah. So, um, so we agree on the surveillance aspect being bad. Do you, can you see an argument for it being good? Uh, people's safety. Yeah, I guess. But it's like- I mean, there's ways to do it. There's ways to do it. There's already laws of how to do surveillance without breaking the law, in a sense. Okay, and true. they're making their own laws, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But they've they've done it where, like, why there's Snowden, why there's these kinds of guys is because they've done it where they've Outside gone the too law. far. Yeah. Gone too in far. that Snowden book, he was saying that in like 2013, I think they passed this bill yeah. where it's like any like there's legal ways to do surveillance on someone. Totally so, but but so like even with the legal mm-hmm. quote unquote, um, it, he, in, he said that in like I think it's 2013 they passed this bill where retroactively you can't blame a, a data company or like a computer company for any actions that it may have done in the past. So it's like now you're skewing the law 
Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. like, so even like in your adjustment of the law, mm-hmm. like if, like you're like, okay, well, if you do it within the law, it's like, all right, we'll just change the law. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's I like, mean, that's what they did, right? So it sounds like a political issue. It's like systematically. Yeah, but it, I guess it's something to do with the Constitution. I'm not too sure, but like, like it was, I think it just started from the Patriot Act or like that's when it kind of got big, right? I think. Like during, um, what's it called? Uh, George Bush time. Like after 9 11. Uh huh. This is where it basically happened, I think. Most of the things. Like the uh, the shifting of laws, yeah, to like adhere to yeah. their choices, yeah. In in yeah. some ways, like that's what people say. In some ways, um, we're in a new world after nine eleven. Yeah, but they won. That in in the way in who, that who way. won the terrorists? Uh, yeah. Well, oh, why? Because, because they, they shifted. Yeah, they basically took away your cer- certain certain freedoms. So right. I so then, in that sense, they still won, right? Right. Because that's unless, the whole point of what they were trying to do. Unless you look at the conspiracies of like it was orchestrated internally because then then it allowed for more of a totalitarian system like systems in place Mm -hmm. uh, post that event yeah you know i mean so like if if they were like we need to control more people and then they pull off this like attack then they then it's like the terrorists really didn't win because the agenda was to increase control do you know what I'm saying? So uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the whole idea was this idea of freedoms. They just, I think they were trying to mocking it. They were trying to mock it or something. And then um, like, what I'm saying is if that's even real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I know. know. I'm just saying like that's what some people have thought, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah I get what you're saying. Like, how do we yeah. know what's real? We don't, we don't really know that. That's true, yeah. I mean like you, you'll never we're really know. speculating. Yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, it's just like you're, you're just a a cog in the machine of the human race which is a cog in the machine of the earth which is the cog in the machine of the universe so it's like we're just like this thing that's playing out its role Mm -hmm. that believes it's important yeah all right but anyway so circling back to big data um do you remember minority report yeah so i i know i've brought this up a few times but like this is one of the reasons why i loved um big data Mm -hmm. since the beginning but i see even in that class people were like freaking out but i'm like personally from my perspective and i use it all the time i hate it when i get ads that i don't like because like you're not doing a good enough job like i mean i don't like ads in general but yeah but but like okay no but it's not just ads so like it's like given your recent viewing history you might like this yeah, I'm saying like if that, you're looking like for something ad. to buy, it makes more sense. Yeah, totally. When I'm not looking for something to buy, I, I don't want to see anything. Okay, all right, all right. Let, let's think of it this way: if you don't, if you don't effectively utilize your marketing channels, how would you even know what the next video game you want to buy is? How would I know? Exactly. Uh, well, the way I've done it before, I guess. You, so you like constantly keep searching, but like, so like. Yeah, like I'm watching E3. These are these are where I pick up my information. Okay, true, true, true. So for you, but what about like other people who are like, no, no, I, I didn't know that, that game was coming no, no, out. I understand. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. you you don't know a service is around yeah. until Sometimes, you market that service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, no. I don't, I'm know? not saying that there's nothing wrong with. It. I'm just saying for me, <laughs> but if there's but, a way for me to shut it off, but but maybe I, that's what I want, I guess. But but not even from like. Okay, so like even from like Google, so like this brings into like search engine optimization, mm-hmm. which you can like tie into big data. So like because like from the search engine optimization, you can it you so okay. So when you search something in Google, it's gonna search its database of big data mm-hmm. to give you the best answer. So what is Google's primary purpose? To give you an answer. Right? That that's like it's yeah. it's like whole business model it's like we want to give you answers right so whatever you want to know we'll be able to provide it to you Mm -hmm. right so what if your search search engine so like search engine optimization is tapping into big data so it's making you fall in line with that that system yeah right so like the way search engine optimization works there are like so a, a lot before when they used to game the system is you used to like hide keywords in like your your meta tags or you used to like you used to make the words invisible on the page yeah so like you'd still write in like a bunch of keywords but then like make them hidden but google started to derank those things because they're like okay you're just playing a trick right so what it what you have to do is you have to make the copy on your page 
match what it is that somebody's going to potentially search. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, so that's from one end of the spectrum. That's a business trying to market to its consumers. Sometimes what happens right. is uh, those ads all come up after I've already bought the product. And then yeah. it becomes annoying. Well, yeah, that's because you. It's like it's like <laughs> now the data is catching up, and it's yeah. like, oh, you might like this, but it's like I already bought it. Yeah. You just somehow got the like the algorithms aren't perfect. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's still so, made by us. Yeah. Right. So you have to tweak it from so from a business perspective, you have to tweak your 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 keywords, your SEO, yeah. accordingly, so that when when Google's trying to use its big data algorithms, it's able to link, hey, this person might like this. Oh, you offer this service. They're just connecting, mm -hmm. right? They're giving you an answer to your thing. Sometimes you don't even know you need the answer, yeah. but it's providing you with the answer. You know, like Google's like the intermediary, and then like there's like the business and then the end consumer, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Um. So I think like, I think from that perspective, it's essential to have big data and utilize big data because sometimes like you don't even know you need something till you see it. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. A, a perfect example. I was like, afra I'm afraid of like um, the dentist, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, what are the solutions to fix? So from an end perspective, from an end user perspective, I'm afraid of dentistry. Yeah. Right. I didn't even know that there were sleep dentistries out there, right? So Google's the one that was like, hey, here's a solution. You know, given your data and your, your search query, we're going to present you with alternate solutions. So like I saw like laser, like like I was like trying to like cavity yeah. fixing, and there was like there's like a laser one where like they shoot mm -hmm. um the the cavity with a laser, and then there's like uh, one where it's like they're the machine will do the numbing for you and then there's the sleep dentistry one so it's like if if it didn't have all this data how yeah. would it connect me to the answer yeah see what i'm saying mm -hmm. so it's almost like a it's an inevitable it, it's like an an a necessary evil right you know yeah 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 i mean yeah, I think, and even there was that uh, doc on Netflix, right? Most the, of them were saying they didn't mind the ads for like when they need to buy things. Is it totally, yeah. yeah. But it's it's more about the the other part that you were saying, the like the, the surveillance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think there's any way to fix that though, or like a, like an influence one, I guess. I don't know if that's necessarily right, so, surveillance. So okay, okay. So that that's a so okay. So I think the influencing one falls under marketing. Because, okay, we're trying to sway. I, I know, I know, you know I know, I know, like, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. But but for, for just, like, deconstruct it. So, like, we're trying to sway the opinion of another person to vote for this person to become president. Yeah. yeah. Okay? That's an intended action. Yeah. Right? You want them to vote. Mm -hmm. And, like, that's just like saying, we want you to purchase this product. Yeah. Right? So all of the, all of the big data influencing that's just them using marketing to but what was the main doc about it was that there was things happening in the background that you didn't even know like you were giving information that you didn't even uh, actually yeah that, that's the next thing i was gonna say so um the, you uh, the other doc you? yeah you do you do so in the other doc terms and conditions may apply. so there's the big hack yeah, where yeah, they yeah. like deconstruct this and then terms and conditions may apply it's like it's saying how you you don't actually read the terms and conditions yeah. you just click accept yeah. but within that it's like we have the right to collect your data and then sell that data yeah, yeah, yeah i know right yeah so that's what you're talking about right uh yeah no but it's like yes but it, i think the way that i think cambridge analytica worked the way they did that was they made you do polls like uh, yeah but then quizzes. they would pull not just your information your friend's information who didn't even do those right totally yeah. but but it's legal because yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's under the I terms understand. and conditions yeah. right yeah. so okay so that that brings in another question is it like is it right or wrong i mean i think to I, sell your data uh to sell your data yeah uh if you want to yeah Ooh, what do you mean like is it is it so like without us knowing it's like when we accept the terms and conditions 
it says in there we can sell the sell they can sell our data yeah so i see that as like for me i don't think that's a bad thing because it's like i want to yeah, use that's your what I'm platform saying. for not, free yeah, yeah no, right? that's what I'm, that's but what a lot saying. of people hate it and it's like so they get off then facebook, don't bro. Use facebook you, yeah. you know what i mean like but i don't even use facebook so i have yeah, a facebook yeah. but i rarely but but there are all these free there are all these free services. Yeah. So we all want to get something for free. So when all of a sudden they're like, oh, how are they exactly, making their money? Exactly, they're making exactly. their money because they're selling your data. It's like, if you're if you're so smart, yeah. if you as a person are so smart that you can figure out a way to monetize data, go for it. But they just figured it out. So it's like, okay, make your money how you want to make your money. It's like, it's like, are you are you upset at the bottle cap guy who's selling like bottle caps for like the thing is no, like, no, 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 you're right. You know you're right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure people shouldn't realize that that's something, nothing's free. <laughs> yeah, nothing's free. So it's yeah. like, it, well, like that's so funny because, like, um, we we went into that argument. That was actually one of the arguments in uh, one of my business classes. I thought it was so funny. Mm-hmm. They're like, they're like and you could see like the ethical people in the room, and then you could see the real business minded people in the room. So, like, <clears> they're like, is anything free in this world? And people are like, yeah, there's so many free things. We deserve our freedoms. Blah, blah, blah. Like, all right, so name one of them. Like, air is free. And they're like, no, you're paying taxes. You're paying taxes to live in this plot of land. So if you look at the, um, in, in accounting, they call it overhead. Mm-hmm. So it's like all the little things you have to pay for when you're like, so like, um, so we rent out an office. We don't rent out an office. But like, if you rented out an office, Overhead would be like the cost of the lights, the cost of electricity that goes into running your business. Right. Right. So like overhead would technically be like, like air would be the overhead of the country living within that country. Mm-hmm. See mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. So you're still paying for things. So like there's really nothing that's free. You know? Yeah. My life is free. Now you got to pay taxes. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Wherever you go, you know? So like. And you don't technically, no, no, you don't have to pay for taxes. There's nothing free in a society, right? Mm-hmm. In, in, a, in a commercial society, there's nothing that's free. But you can go live in the jungle, you know? Don't pay your taxes. Like, go to, like, some remote place with no taxes, live on that island, you're good. But, like, what are you going to have there? Just you and, like, trees. No, but even if it's not necessarily nothing, it's still not free, right? Like, you still got to work. No, uh, yeah, I see, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Like in technical terms, like it's, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. if you want to boil it down, it's like you got to work for your your stuff. So you yeah, nothing just comes to you. Yeah, 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 you have to do work to get things. Right, I see what you're saying. Yeah, totally. Right. Yeah. So if you if you take it on a granular scale like that, it's like even that you're still yeah. affording something. You're giving something. Yeah, yeah, totally. But so okay, so circling back to like mm-hmm. um, the terms and conditions. So I I don't think that's I think we're just in a digital society where we don't realize what digital means mm-hmm. and that there's even though we can't see it there's a lot of microtransactions going on mm-hmm. you know and that's the cost of just living in a digital society right you know like like you know how like people like walk over and they're like oh i can get some free wi-fi from the starbucks so you think that you think that Wi-Fi is free, but it's like no, you have to accept the fact that Starbucks is going to track everything you do there, and they're going to sell that information to other people. It's like, yeah. it's like, we'll give you free. We'll give you a. You know what it's not, what it is? It's not we're going to give you a free service. We're going to give you a service that doesn't require any work on your end to give us back money. Yeah. It's right. not really free. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't fault those things for like, and then there's all that war. There's this like whole information war right now where it's like, oh, we should make it so that we own our, like own it for what? All right, totally, totally. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So you want to own your information mm-hmm. for what? What do you do with it? Right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. are you going to monetize your own information? No, you don't know how to do it. Mm-hmm. So what are you going to do? You're just trying to add more add more stops uh, you're trying to add more costs on the um on like the uh i forgot the term it's like the um oh, do you know what i'm saying so it's like there's like the end product and then there's the raw material yeah it's like the supply chain oh, i guess the supply chain you're trying to add more costs on the supply chain there because it's like 
it's like, okay, Starbucks will sell its information there. It's like, okay, but we want to be cut in too. We want to make money off of our information. Okay, so now we're going to pay you a portion of what we're getting. You know, you're just adding more costs and then that's just going to add costs to like maybe your cup of coffee. Right. You know what I mean? Because yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah. they're like, okay, well, we got to recoup this cost somewhere. Mm-hmm. So we're just going to increase our prices for coffee. You know what I mean? Because like when you take something away, you have to, it's sort of like the alchemist. Um, uh, not not the alchemist, um, the the book, but the, or maybe it was in the book too, but the alchemist, the anime where it's like, you have to give something to take something. Okay. Like you have to trade, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like when he wanted, like in the, in the anime, I don't really watch the anime, but I heard it like third person from like, from Sid, where it's like his brother, they wanted to be powerful. So they like took, they like use the magic to become powerful but then mm-hmm. his brother became like a suit of armor and then his hands you know what I mean? yeah, like yeah, you yeah. had to give something yeah, you want yeah, to take yeah. something right, right, right. yeah action reaction like the whole world is based off of that you know mm. we're trying to seek out equilibrium if something happens something there's gonna be a ramification in return so it's like if you want this service well somebody's got to take it away yeah, yeah even even in altruistic services so like this is why okay so okay Two fun facts. So I actually donated for the first time. Well, technically, I didn't donate. I lobbied for a donation from my family. That I didn't want to give the money. This is so... Like, <laughs> if you're listening to this right now, sorry. I love you. I hope you get better. Huh? But... Okay. Yeah, I know, I know. So, like, um, on Facebook... Well, it's public information now. So it's like, you can go... Like, I didn't... I'm not spilling the beans or anything. Like, you have a freaking um, GoFundMe page. So, like, this person... They're like they want to. They went into like this lupus, like issue, uh-huh. and then they, they like got healed in a different country. But then there's so they went to remission. But then they're starting to see the effects coming back. Okay. So like they started a GoFundMe campaign. All this information's there. So like I'm not like spilling the beans on them, um, but like so they, they like put up this GoFundMe page, and I felt really bad. I was like because I actually know this person, mm. so I was like. But I, I'm like, I'm running a little broke this month. So I'm like, okay, I want to give like a hundred bucks so I don't seem cheap. Cause like, I feel like if you get like 20 bucks, like they need to make $10,000. So like me giving 20 bucks, like, all right, kind of, kind of lame, you know, no offense to all the people that gave 20 bucks, but I just wanted to be like, okay, let, let me like a nicer gesture. So I like lobbied for like, you know, a hundred bucks. So I, I gave a hundred bucks. That's not the point of this story. <laughs> I just gave you the backstory. So like, I don't like donating because i don't i feel like no i know for a fact that when you donate to something a portion of that is only going to the end consumer because you have to pay for logistics Mm -hmm. so when you say like give and take it's like but i donate and that's like given you know good you know okay but like like for people that donate because they're like oh like it's like if if nothing's free like, but i i donate like you know and i i don't want anything but it's like people are latching on to that mm-hmm. that donation mm-hmm. right even in gofundme it's like we're a free service so we appreciate your your tips so like tag along a percentage of you know yeah how much you want to give us right mm. so guess how much i tackled on zero yeah i was like no i'm not gonna give you guys a percentage like this is your service go make your money off of like data you see what i'm saying see what i'm saying there it's like i'm you can make your money that's why it's like it's like if you want to sell data go ahead like that's very difficult to do you know you need aggregates amount of data so if if the person if you're listening to this you're like well i'll just go sell data it's like well you need more than like your like five people in your family to sell data you need like millions of people to sell meaningful data yeah right i think these things will normally be only changed if uh, done through like laws or something what do you mean changed like i should get a portion of what i'm yeah but okay but what i'm all right so okay a portion I, of it. but I, it's like i think it's but i don't know how else right, is but... it gonna provide that free service to that person right this per they're 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 offering their platform for this person to gain money yeah, yeah, yeah. right so it's like now you're just gonna so you're just taking away from that company's ability to provide that free service um the only way that company can make money yeah. is but everything runs off money See what I'm saying? It's like a paradox. It's mm-hmm. like you want to offer a free service, but it costs money to offer a free service. 
So he's going to recoup the cost. So either you're going to lose money on this venture or you're going to come out with another way to make money. Yeah. You know, which is yeah. selling data. Yeah. Okay, so, so that's one end of the spectrum. And the second end is SEO. Like, like um, Facebook, because I saw this on Facebook, Facebook has been tracking my activity. So I know this. So when I like something, I'm like, I'm, I'm meaningfully, intentionally liking things, right? Because I'm like, okay, because if I don't like it, then it will stop feeding me stupidness, right? But if I like it, it's going to feed me like more things that I find entertaining, right? And like, and on a granular scale, I think they even have these things where it's like uh, time on post. So mm-hmm. like, it'll, it'll view, even if you don't like it, it'll view the seconds that you were observing that post it's like that intense right the data um but so i would have never seen this person's gofundme campaign if it wasn't for my actions right it knew like it knew like okay you've had some interactive with interaction with this person because mm-hmm. i've i'm telling you, i've never seen anyone else's like posts like i i see the same five people's posts all the time on facebook yeah you know because i engage with them you know, but then you go to like somebody else's page and you're like, wow, they're pretty active, mm-hmm. but you just don't see their stuff. Yeah. Cause like Facebook's like, you won't care about this. <laughs> so that's a win for big data is what I'm saying. Right. So if you're like, oh, I hate that you're tracking me and your big data, whatever, whatever. But it's like, if you like what you're looking at, thank big data for that. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. We're watching this show right now, like a YouTube. Like, I tend to not like anything anyway, so. <laughs> but there's... I don't know. I just find that. I don't know. I just maybe I'll like something else. <laughs> I don't worry. Really? I want to see random. Th- I want to see random. Like I guess that's for that's how I am. I guess. But but uh, like like I said, it's like it's tracking your like time on a on a thing as well. What do you mean? Not so, what is, how does that do again? Uh, so like, cause cause they have them for pages. So okay. like web pages. So it's like time on page. Hmm. So if you could do it for a time on page, you could definitely do it for a time on post. Okay. So like how long have you been on this post before you scrolled? Yeah. Oh, so yeah, even yeah, if you yeah, don't yeah. like it, yeah. if you spend time right, reading right, it, right. it's like, well, we know that you read it, mm. you know? You see what I'm saying? So like even yeah. if you don't like things, you're, you're still being tracked. That's the power of big data. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right. Um, where's it going with that prior? What was I saying? I don't remember what <laughs> you were talking about. So, yeah, so that's a win for big data. So if you like things, if you like what it is you're using and you like the things that you see, if you gain enjoyment out of these platforms, then why are you getting annoyed over the freeness of these platforms? Mm. I mean, over the the data collection of these platforms. It's like, they're just, they need to make money. Right. How else are they going to make money? They're not like forcing you to buy things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, they're just offering advertisers the ability to tap into that data and i know this for a fact because i actually use those platforms Mm -hmm. past and currently like there's so many platforms out there that like you wouldn't even know i like i'll just name a few like there's uh uh i think it's called scission is one um meltwater is another one Mm -hmm. um like Hootsuite even does it to like a degree. Ooh, Hootsuite, oh. everyone everyone uses Hootsuite. It's like a scheduling platform. Anyways, oh. so it, you you can like increase. So like people are like, oh yeah, you can't really like. What are you gonna do with that data? Whatever. Like how does it even work? You know, like if you actually use these platforms, you can get super intense. Where it's like you type in a keyword and then it pulls up all the people with the most followers using that keyword. Right. You know, and then you're just like, all right, cool. We're just gonna send this person a good, uh, like a um, a package. You know, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, you know, we're gonna send you a package, and yeah, hopefully yeah. you'll you'll like open it on your Instagram account. Mm-hmm. You know, and then like then we'll get advertising that way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. At the end of the day, it's it's the marketers that are making. Um, I think we talked about this in e- in the Egypt podcast, but like business runs all that we do. But then belief runs everything yeah. that we are or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Fascinating. Mm-hmm. So in sum, I would say that big data, 
the fear of big data, I don't think you need to worry about it because they're off affording the freedoms in our our side. They're just trying to present you with products. No, well, yeah. I mean, if you don't want to, exactly. Yeah. Just don't, don't buy it. Or just like, you don't know. use the platforms if you don't want to. Mm-hmm. That's that's the good side of big data, where it's like for a, from a marketing perspective, big data is great because like they're just trying to ease. They're just trying to lubricate the connectivity between business and consumer. Yeah. You know, that's all they're doing. Mm-hmm. So the freedom ultimately lies in the end consumer. So you have the choice to buy or not buy. When big data gets bad is when you use it for surveillance. And that's what Snowden was all about because, like, then they could just kick down your door. Give it. There, there was a thing. So, on... yeah, that, that's, so that's, that's my main concern. Like, because if some random tyrant gets in. Like, yeah, gets in position, then he can just like take down whoever. Actually, he doesn't that, like. you know, it's funny. We tested that um, in in like life, not mm-hmm. us, but like it was tested. Remember when like um, Trump was like, "Oh, I'm gonna like use these nukes," and then the people in the room, like, "No, you're not." Like that. Even even if we think that a tyrant's gonna be there, like to our time, like Trump would be the most relative tyrant, I would say. But like you could see that people were like, "No, I'm not on board with this." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like there's still processes in place. Yeah, yeah. You aren't Especially like in, Amer- in, in America, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. And I mean, America's ultimately where this is happening because it's like the the commercial platform of the world. And where else where mm-hmm. else would big data be so important? Yeah. I mean, they're all using it against each other too though, right? Oh, actually no, 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 hold on. In the big hack, remember they overthrew governments through Facebook ads? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So So I mean like but see, it's just like, <laughs> but for that, it's sort of like the whole, you know, the line, like, forgive them for they know not what they do. Like Jesus said that. Yeah. Like God, God was like, so Jesus was on the cross and then God was like, forgive. No, 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 no sorry, sorry. I'm getting that wrong. So Jesus was on the cross because he's being crucified. And then he looked up at God and he's like, God, forgive them for they know not what they do. Mm-hmm. And it's just about ignorance. What that is, is about ignorance. Right. So it's like okay we have the intelligence we have this like the study to be like hey this is what they're doing but like in those countries where they don't really know how tech works then they're more susceptible to fall for advertising but at the end of the day it's still that person's final decision you can put a knife in front of a thousand people and the person that's going to use it well they were the outlier Mm -hmm. see what i'm saying so it's like yeah it's like they were just feeding you ads in those countries. So it's like, I think where it gets bad is like false information. Maybe that's what the issue is. Because mm-hmm. if it's like, oh, he's a rapist, you know, then everyone's like, oh my God, he's a rapist. But it's like, it's a false flag. It's not really true, you know? Yeah. I think, wasn't, uh, what was the thing that happened with, uh, like, they had to keep bringing Facebook guy to, like, Congress or something? Oh, because he, like, he affected, like, he's, like, been stealing data or something? I don't know. Or, no, no, uh, because of the influence Facebook had on the election? Mm-hmm. Something about that. Oh, okay. It's like, did you know, are you collecting data? Something like that. No, I think, I think, was it, was it about false information that's on there? Okay, totally. So is, is, so is it the platform's issue to regulate? Or is it the person who's putting that false information out there? Who's actually pulling? The they're line? they're talking about actual legitimate thing places that are putting false information, right? So it's sort yeah. of like if a person puts false information, well, that's it's just a person, right? Okay. If it's an entity, but is the entity doing that? Yeah. So Facebook's actively putting false information. Not out. Facebook, but like big entities, entities that are doing that. Yeah, but that's not, what I'm saying. Not. So is is it if you use the platform? Yeah. Is it the platform's fault or is it the person's fault? Because uh, then, well, where, you, are, you then know, where do you draw you, the line? Yeah, that's the question, right? Like, how do you regulate? Because yeah, they have, yeah, to, exactly. they have regulate. to regulate. But it's like, it's like, I think where what do you the, draw the line? So Twitter put put up like they're not going to do any more political ads as of like next Great. week or something. Cool. So there you go. So it's, they're not drawing the line. They're just not letting you do it, period. Yeah. So that's cool. I think it's because it's difficult to, like, it's not necessarily Mark Zuckerberg's fault. It's just but like, like but, hey. all right, so, so, okay, so when, so, okay, we're talking about false information. 
when do you get to the point where it's misinformation? See what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, is it false information or is it misinformation? Because like, you yeah. can, so people who believe that they can cure cancer with crystals, to them, it's not a lie. To them, they really believe it. But that's misinformation. Mm-hmm. It's not false information. Yeah. So it's like, is it really a lie if you believe it? It's like that Seinfeld thing. Right. Right? It's not a lie if you truly believe it. Mm-hmm. Right? So like, so then who's going to regulate that? Yeah. So are we only going to have accurate information out there in the world? So then people who are speculating, they can't, anybody with a hypothesis, because it's not defined information, mm. you can't put it out in the world. Right. I don't know. But then science science is not there to disp- uh, prove anything. Science only disproves things, right? So it's like, so is that false information? Because it's like, we used to believe that the earth was flat and to the best of their knowledge, it was flat. And then they found out that it was round. But I'm sure there were other people out there who knew it was round. So it's like, but so are these companies supposed to figure out what's the truest information? See so, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like what what is truth then? Because there there is no truth. Because it's always changing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. You ask, uh, well, uh, Congress <laughs> that question. But. Okay, totally. But Congress is also made up of a societal thing, so it's more about like who's pushing the buttons there. What is the agenda of the person? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just asking the question. Well, right, totally. So all I'm saying is like there is no certainty because everybody's looking at through life through a biased perspective. Yeah. A bias of what their past experience is, what their level of knowledge is. Mm-hmm. So it's like if everyone's incorrect then there is nothing that's correct so you can freely put a lie if you want to it's up to the person that's viewing the lie to look into it yeah see what i'm saying yeah 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 so and i i feel like that all falls under marketing it's like if it's a lie that's just marketing it's like yeah people put lies out there all the time you know Mm mm-hmm but like when it turns so like again this just goes back to like it's solidifying what we we agreed upon which is like for marketing purposes big data is fine but for um surveillance purposes big data is bad right yeah yeah which ultimately falls under like the freedoms yeah like who who's making the judgment call at the end of the day mm-hmm yeah cool so uh speaking of big data um it looks like charlie's angels wasn't that good (laughs) yeah that's too bad yeah (laughs) yeah i was really looking forward to that movie but i don't know why i don't know i really like those like spy spy movies like (laughs) yeah yeah, it's really cool i'm like obsessed with spy movies uh so so we won't be watching that movie to review it. But Ford Ferrari looks pretty. What did that get? Nine point something. I think. I really? Know. Oh, damn! I did not expect that. I think I think it's like nine point three or eight point nine. See what I'm saying? Like, is that truth or is that a lie? I'm using my my past knowledge. Yeah, but that's only you, right? No, right, but what I'm saying is like, if I put that out in the world, we just put it out in the world. So somebody's gonna listen to it and be like, oh, I got nine point three. No, like, prep, like, I don't know, like journalists or whatever. But what is a journalist? A journalist is just a person backed by if if we were backed by a multi million dollar, multi billion dollar organization, we would be considered journalists. Mm-hmm. Like what is the act of journaling? It's just you're telling somebody something, right? It's just who's the most backed person in the room. Yeah. But yeah. So um maybe maybe Ford versus Ferrari next week. I'm not sure. Yeah. You stoked about that? sure okay cool i think so i feel like you're really into the game right now no i kind of fucked up <laughs> the game oh okay <laughs> yeah it's gone uh what was i gonna say uh like it happened earlier 
You said you heard the baby sounds? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was coming oh, yeah, from yeah, the controller up. speakers. What does that mean? That's why you heard it, and I didn't hear it. Oh, okay. And whoa, so why is there controller speakers? Like, what? It's a part of the game? No, I mean, there's the controller has a speaker. It's always been there. No, no, but why did Kojima do that? Like, it's part of the game. Yeah, yeah, it's part of the game. Yeah. So it's like. It, it, comes, up, it comes up when. It's the, more goddamn trolling, yeah. When the BTs. Uh, no, no, no. When only, it only comes up when a certain time. Oh, okay. Yeah. And. Because <laughs> it's so funny, I was like, I was like, are you watching people do it right now in the background? Because oh, it, it sounds like I it. didn't even know that, that was happening. Okay, only so, when we were doing it, I heard it, then I switched it to TV speakers or whatever. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. That's, that's, that's uh, Yeah, no, no, no. Like, I think you would have heard it in the in the beginning of the podcast. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I heard it. I was like, oh. Yeah. Didn't I didn't know that. that that was what was happening because I'm only hearing it in the headphones, right, so right, I right. can't hear. But that's what I meant about the troll. Because I'm like, is this just another troll? Because like, it sounds like people are doing it. Like oh no, this is the baby. But but the way it's it's sounding, it sounded like 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 a Japanese like a porno, yo. Like, did you hear it? Yeah, it was sound like a baby to me. No. Oh, all right. Because I knew what was going on. Okay, yeah. So, but like from people, I think that if are you didn't know by, what was going on, yeah, I think it would look like something else. Because I didn't know, I didn't know what was going on. So like like for the past couple of days, I'm like, what the? What are you watching behind the? You, but you, like, if you look at the it, game. there's nothing happening in the game other than. Yeah, I know, totally. But it's like, imagine like a parent walking by and they're just like, what, the, what are you doing in that room? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, Kojima, you're a genius troll. Uh, I don't know. I think it was meant to be a baby sound. I think you were connected to something else. <laughs> no, to 100% no. It, it does not sound like... It, it, sounds like, it sounds like a baby because you're referencing a baby in your mind. But like, the way it's like whining is very like, it's almost like sexual. Yeah, I don't think that's what he meant to do, though. But now we're like double checking things because it's like, it's like with the. Um... Or you're overthinking it? No, no, no. Because remember the thing where he's like, um, "Are you bored yet?" No, I know, I know. So I'm like, is he just doing one of those like troll moves again? Yeah. You know. Because there's like baby cries. No, there are like there. You've heard like you can hear like baby cries where it's like, oh, it's a baby crying. But like this is like, like. Almost like intercourse sounds. You're just like, oh wow. No, it sounded like the baby to me. Because you've been playing the game, is what I'm oh, saying. Oh, oh, oh. Right? Because yeah. so your your like frame of reference is this. But me not knowing what you were doing, I would just hear it for the past few days. I'm like, what the hell is that? Right. Right. So like, I'm saying from a parent perspective, it would be pretty funny for them to walk by and be like, "What's mm. my son doing in that room?" Or daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, all right. So till next time. This is going to continue playing this game. Yeah, he's waddling like a baby here. He is. Yeah, see, the, more troll, more trolling. You should watch this on YouTube if you're listening to it in your headphones. <laughs> you just watch like this, try and like survive the water that he's in. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in the. I don't know what I'm doing right now. This reminds me of like like when games would push the boundaries, like Manhunt. Do you remember mm -hmm. that game back in the day? It's like a, I think it was like Xbox game. And like in Manhunt, um, like you would kill people. So right. it was like you're just like in a city and you just like kill other people. And it was just like the most, like for its time. Like if you look at like um, Naughty Dog now, it's way more graphic for its Last of Us series. But like yeah, back yeah, in the yeah. day, and those were like polygons too. So the graphics weren't even good. Mm -hmm. You just like just like cut people's heads off and like stab them or whatever. Right. And it was so like groundbreaking mm. reminds me of that like this game reminds me of that uh, one okay. of like groundbreakers anyways all right till next week um yeah accept the power of big data yeah sure enjoy your purchases <laughs> merry christmas okay bye